Flowers consist of a maximum of four whorls of structures, some of which are modified leaves. In most flowers, the outermost whorl consists of sepals, which are typically green and leaf-like, and may protect the flower before it opens. Inside this is a whorl of modified leaves known as petals, which are often large and brightly colored. Inside the ring of petals are the male structures, known as stamens, and the female structures, known as pistils. The stamens produce the male reproductive cells, wrapped in a nitrogenous coat forming pollen grains. When pollen grains land on the pistil, they grow long tubes to reach the ova and fertilize them to form the embryos of new plants. In many flowers, the sex organs are hidden within the flower, while in other flowers these are quite exposed. Not all of these four parts of a flower are present in all flowers, and a great number of variations in sepals and petals are known. For example, a flower may lack either male or female structures and be a single sex rather than a hermaphroditic flower with both genders. A single plant may possess flowers of only one gender, a mix of male and female flowers, hermaphroditic flowers, or some combination of these. Some flowering plants change their gender over the course of their lives. The sepals in some flowers are brightly colored. The number and arrangement of petals can vary greatly. Flower petals vary in structure. Some are irregular in form, such as this columbine, blue flag iris, mad dog skull cap, cow wheat, or butter and eggs. Some flowers have two regular parts, such as cypress spurge. Some flowers have three regular parts, such as spiderwort, and this aquatic flower. Some flowers have four regular parts, such as garlic mustard, and partridge berry. Some flowers have five regular parts, such as buttercups, Deptford pink, and fringed loosestrife. Some flowers have six regular parts, such as star of Bethlehem, and blue-eyed grass. Some flowers have seven regular parts, such as star flower. A large number of flowers have many regular parts, such as asters, black-eyed Susan, woodland sunflower, Cynthia, fleabane, and rough-leaved ragwort.